Please welcome to today's video. Uh, make sure you visit podcastformarketers.com. For more information over there, I have a really kick-ass course on how you can make at least a few grand a month on simple reoccurring revenue, right? And that's called Freedom Funnels. And make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel, man. I'm put out videos every day. So you don't wanna miss what I put up because I put out some pretty um, kick-ass content. And man, I always want you guys to comment below, man. I love, absolutely love all the comments you guys bring. Let me know what you're thinking. If you have any questions, I'm always in the comment section. I really love the community. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so today we're gonna talk about how to get uh, new clients without cold calling or emailing, okay? The, the one thing that, that I want you guys to understand and why I do this is right now, um, and I'm gonna do a better post than this, but um, I don't know if you guys can tell what that is, but right now, this is a, a light bulb. So right now, my wife is going to clown me in a minute. She'll be here any minute now. All right. So, um, all right. It's a good light bulb, right? All right. So I'll even make it yellow. All right. So right now, ideas and being creative are what's going to pay the bills, folks. All right, so the more creative that you can be and kind of think outside the box, um, what's going to start happening for you is um, you'll start getting in front of your competition. And so my whole idea for you here is to show you kind of like uh, an inexpensive way to get in front of perhaps some VIP clients that you half ass want to impress, okay? So um, they have this little place called uh, Elucify. And what Elucify does is it actually crowdsources leads. So um, I put in my uh, email address and uh, it takes leads out of my email address that could pop possibly be from a company um, that uh, they want to have in their database. And then you can join up and you get a certain amount of credits for free to look up uh, emails. So what I did was I looked up Harley Davidson. OK, um, and I just wanted to make an example. Let's just say, for instance, number one, if you do have a blog and you work for Harley or you want to write a blog about Harley's, um, maybe you had yourself something that you designed for Harley or you knew of a designer that was your client that really wanted to get this to design in front of Harley Davidson, or you had something that you know, um, the people that work at Harley Davidson, maybe you had a CRM service or um, just your uh, consulting services or whatever, perhaps you want to get in front of and see these are the top leadership. You want to get in front of the, the top people and here are their email addresses right here, right? So this is top leadership and this is other contacts, right? So here's the vice president of strategy and sustainability right? The chief legal officer. All right. So the chief VP of manufacturing, yada, 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 right? So all of these people now, not all of them will have their emails um, with Facebook, but don't be surprised that a lot of them will, you know, have their Facebook email being their business uh, email because maybe they have a separate prof profile. You don't know. So what you want to do is download this entire list. Okay. Then I want you to come over here into custom audiences and create an audience, custom audience, create one from a customer file and then add customers from your own file. So now here, what you can do is you can actually upload that file that you'll be getting from here and upload it right in here. And then they'll say, okay, I want you to identify which one is the email, which one is the phone number and which one you'll be using. The only thing that you really need to identify is what is the email uh, for this person. And then once you do that, you're going to make a custom audience. Once you make that custom audience, make a custom advertise, uh, um, advertisement specifically for 
Harley Davidson and the employees there. Target the shit out of them. Target them with something that you know only they would uh, appreciate. Okay? This is how you get specific targeting directly to a high dollar client, right? So if you, for instance, if you um, target them, I don't know what the ad could be, but just <laughs> something that is very, very targeted to them. If it was me, and let's say I was targeting Harley Davidson, I probably would um, put a picture of a Harley Davidson uh, with whatever product that I had in there, and I would have a link to a blog. Maybe uh, it was a contest to win a Harley Davidson or whatever. Just enough to get their, pique their interest to get them to come and click through to your blog. And then once you have them at your blog, you can really talk specifically to them uh, to say, okay, I targeted you guys because blah, 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 blah. It's not really what you say and it's not really what the ad is. It, it, that's really not important. The important thing was that you, you, you targeted them and they saw that. Okay. I don't want to, honestly, I don't want to give you a step by step by step because you need to have this idea and kind of just take it on your own. And if I told you exactly what to say in the ad and you did that, it's probably not going to work. Right. So what I want you to understand is it's the idea that you targeted them. They saw that and they realized the extreme measures you're going through in order to get their attention. Right. So on Facebook, you couldn't say, hey, Ken or hey, Karen or whatever. Right. But you could say you or a loved one work at Harley Davidson. For Harley Davidson only, employees only, we're doing blah, you know, whatever. Get their attention. And I promise you that what will happen is, is once it could be something funny, uh, it could be something serious, it could be something innovative that they like, it could be just a funny Harley Davidson video in the beginning to catch their attention. Um, as long as you get that engagement, um, trying to um, get them to opt in with a phone number would be good. However it works out, contacting them or having them press the call to action to actually call you right now would be a good thing. The, the purpose of this entire video was to show you how to get the attention of clients without cold calling and without cold emailing. It seems to me that, you know, even though everybody wants to know how to do this, right? Cold call and email, okay? It seems that since everybody's doing that right now, that for me personally, I always take a different route, okay? So if it was me, I would be taking this route to, as a matter of fact, I'm taking this route. Um, trying to get maybe Gary V's attention and just target people that work for Gary V or Ty Lopez, for instance, if I want to just get, get his attention and get him to mention me some kind of way, then I would target just the, the people that work for Ty Lopez and, you know, just put the whole normal thing that you would really see is, um, you know, I won Ty Lopez's car, right? You don't want to say Ty Lopez is a fraud because they're used to that. So I won Ty Lopez's car or I caught Ty Lopez naked in the jacuzzi at my neighbor's house. Something like that, right? To really get them to click and go, oh my God, what is this? And then uh, you hit them with your personal video and say, hey man, I'm glad you guys clicked the link. I see my shit worked. <laughs> Boom. And now you have their attention. You've gotten their attention some kind of way. Um, and that's how it work. Or, um, like I told you before, I own go watch my video.com. Another way you can do this is send a lump email and just tell them, go watch my video.com. Do it with your video, with the lump email, have a little video saying, Hey, go watch my video.com. I got something special for you over there. You're going to catch Ty Lopez doing blah, right? If you were to send it to the Ty Lopez's people. Once they go watch your video at GoWatchMyVideo.com, they're going to realize how innovative you are. So try to think outside the box, right? Over here somewhere, <laughs> right? This is the box. 
Don't think in here. <laughs> think over here, outside the box, right? And I just wanted to shoot this video really quickly. It's Sunday, the day after the, 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 the Mayweather fight. And I just wanted to shoot this quick video to give you guys a quick alternative to how to start getting in front of clients without necessarily cold emailing. Now, these are big clients. Now, obviously, you wouldn't want to do this with uh, a hair salon, right? Um, you have to have at least 30 leads to update, upload into Facebook to do this. But just think on it. Think about how you can market to those people. Um, there's also ways to sell things to people that work at Harley Davidson as well. Now, don't go start trying to sell them Harley Davidson shirts because they work at Harley Davidson, right? But think outside the box at what what else would somebody want to have that worked for a motorcycle company? You know, not everybody there owns a Harley Davidson, right? So they sure would love to win one. What if you were able to put together a contest to where you could give a Harley Davidson away? Think about it. It's not that hard to do depending on what you get from the people that enter into the contest to win. Maybe it's a dollar raffle. Maybe, maybe it's uh, a fundraiser. Maybe you're raising monies for a, um, uh, maybe that's actually a, a, a copywriting job, writing for um, charities, right? So maybe you're trying to do a fundraiser for someone else. Like I have uh, someone in the squad that works for like an animal shelter. What if you wanted a Harley Davidson to donate to the animal shelter and they could win something for them donating, right? Like a raffle. So think about that. Coffee break. Ah. <laughs>